We're back. So, come cleanse your sins. Come. Here they, here they. <laughs> come cleanse. I can't believe I'm posting this, but I've painted minis with my own blood before. Corn demons. For the thematic reasons. But it just kind of happened because I was bleeding at the time and thought, why the fuck not? For those wondering, it's like a super thin wash, so I wouldn't recommend it. It's metal. It's that, that's, that's metal, may be honest with you. But the thing is, you really don't need to because... See the Citadel um, effect blood paint? It looks, really, really, it looks really, good. really good. And real blood's just going to dry up and crack and yeah. look like horrible. Nasty. But I'll give it's you points. Turn brown. Yeah, well, turn brown. But I'll give you points for absolute metal. Metalism. Like, you know, that's, <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty bulger of you, I must say. I don't play TG, but I come to these threads for skilly stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> On the topic of skill, top actually, stuff, yeah. uh, we're going to be having a new uh, Dragonborn. Um, <laughs> oh, new Dragonborn set, which will have a reptile with gigantic m- biddies. B- gigantic biddies, yeah. So Big keep biddies. A, so keep an eye out for that. Just, just, just might as well show while we can. You know? <laughs> My group used to actively resent me when I talked about going on a date once in passing. So now I've stopped. What? What? What do you mean? No, like, you stop going on or ta- just talking about it. Oh, okay. They're yeah. not even that bad looking. I once tried to break a guy with my reasonability of running a game when he was breaking down, subtly encouraging him because he had my PC raped. Wait, this isn't a confession. This is this is just being about stuff you've done, not not not, like, not against so, people. Running games has legitimately made me a worse person. I didn't even know it was possible to hold the prejudices I have now. Why? What are you on about? Like, what type? What prejudices what is, do you hold? Yeah, is it like stereotype prejudices, or is it like you know? I want to know. Yeah, I want to know more about that. May have ran a game in the past to try and hit on someone before realizing they had an Asian furry fetish. Oh God! <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's almost like the worst. <laughs> like, yeah, you had furry to any fetish in between, and it's just a curse. It just automatically makes a curse. But why is it that you add Asian, Asian and, furry and, and it just it just ten, it, it dumps it up by three? <laughs> Legitimately enjoyed said game as well. Forgot all about that fiasco. Briefly considered forcing players to break quarantine to play in person, as I loathe online games. Didn't go through with it for obvious reasons. Honestly, I do. I get what you mean. Whenever it comes to like online, online games, games, they are not as good as IRL, but. Um, sometimes, like you know, it depends. Like it's hard to find good players locally, yeah. and it's very hard to get everyone meeting up together at the same time. Yeah. And you know, sometimes online is the only option for so especially many people. Now. Yeah, especially now. You know, I'm not going to get into the whole talking about Corona. Let's be serious. I know. But like you know, it's not great. Let's be serious. I once made a card game that I would subsequently be beaten at repeatedly and never win myself. Hi. You made it yourself for yeah. fuck's sake. I, I just... Be honest with you, be car, a, lot of, a lot of the card players are really sweaty though. Yeah. You know, the boys that are into that are But like, this guy intense. made the game himself. I know, I know. But card players are just like, card players are just bad when it comes to like, all I have to do anything to win, you mm-hmm. know? I liked Magic the Gathering better than Yu-Gi-Oh in high school. Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh was beast. <laughs> yeah. Because I felt smarter when building or executing strategies, and the friend I liked the least didn't play it. I had the highest loss ratio in our group, and was designated as a target to test deck builds on. <laughs> oh, that's just sad. That's sad. Let's use him as a target test. Don't we? <laughs> Essentially, that's what they've turned you into. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I never sold any of my friends out when they all stole cards from each other. I don't know. That's pretty scummy, to be honest with you. I don't know when that's ever okay, to be honest with you. I don't mind, like, lending someone something. Someone a card, but, but like, like, don't let them. Yeah, that's a bit. When I was designated as the card bank to try and curb the thefts, I made trades that would benefit my own deck, regardless of how mad it made the others. After becoming so done with the trade drama and repeated losses, I learned how to consistently cheat every time I shuffled my deck so I would draw any card I wanted next turn. Oh, so they, like if you're playing with people are most people learn how to do that though. Yeah. Whenever, if you're playing like card games competitively. Like, yeah, a lot of people do that anyway. It's kind yeah. of sad, but you know, it is what it is. And like, be honest with you, if you're playing with people are just like that, let's be serious. They're probably cheating as they're well. They're probably doing it as well. Is anyone having fun? <laughs> what if everyone's cheating? <laughs> well, I suppose maybe people enjoy. It. I don't know. 
I found out about 4chan during a Gaia Fag phase and lurked the red boards. Years later I came to TG to download character art for drawing references and inspirations. I enjoyed reading quests during that time too. After the exodus, I began spending all my time in quest. I got wrapped up in some drama, nobody else was wrong and was perfect, and so I silently lurked for a year or so. I began listening to writing advice videos to improve my skill while also posting on I. I got wrapped up in drama on I, stopped associating with anyone there. Finally returned to this trash fire of a board. It's nowhere near the same as it used to be. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Uh-huh. Eh, whatever. It's not like I have anything to show for all my research and effort. Begin listening to D&D videos while I do chores. Get vested interest as I used to freeform roleplay as a Gaia fag. TFS at the table. Roleplay with me. The Unexpectables. High Rollers. To name some of the ones I've followed. Recently started playing 5th edition. I've really been enjoying it, and it was easy to get into due to the knowledge I've absorbed. Have a constant nagging sense of dread that something's going to fuck this up too. I don't know, mate. It sounds like you're worrying too much. Yeah, it sounds like you're just I you're too in your head about this shit. And you yeah. can't, if you think bad shit's going to happen, bad yeah. shit will happen because yeah. you have that energy around you. Yeah, Do you like, know what I mean? I, w- I wouldn't honestly get too worked up about that, be honest with you. Like, yeah. you know, just take things as they come. Yeah. Like, you know, just but, play and enjoy it. Be honest with you, I've never had much joy out of card games. Like, I play, of course, I played Yu Gi Oh! and Pokemon when I was a child. Yeah. Um, but when I never got a child, but, yet, but, we played Yu Gi Oh! about four years ago. Oh, yeah, we did actually for a, bit, yeah. for a brief we were couple be, months. We were like really into it. <laughs> yeah. But, but no, I've never got into cards the same way I've got into like war games. Game in yeah, or role playing games yeah. in general, so I don't really have the experience to talk about. But yeah. like, I do know from like stories I just know of that most, card, and like, most people who play like cards, they're always like they're so uptight. Yeah, I think all the, the time I can't have a conversation with people. They're too heavy into the meta, I think, and mm. always keeping up to speed. And I think that's what kind of drove me out of forty k personally yeah. because I some just, people take it too competitive. I, ju- I just kind of got. Now. I just kind of got tired of it and I just prefer a bit of good fun cooperative role play yeah. maybe I'm just a per like you know I'm, I'm just shit at PvP I mean you know what I mean mm-hmm. I'm not that bad on it no you know what I mean I, I would I would say for 40k I would win maybe a third to half the time yeah something in between that yeah. you know but uh, you know like me don't worry too much that's not really a sin to be honest with me I think he's just worked up and yeah. he's got too much oh no it's gonna go it's gonna go it's gonna go go you know smoke what? a joint and calm down <laughs> yeah. you know what it is he's probably been listening to too many of them for that they're like stop putting 5th edition like if the boy enjoys 5th edition it's not well, really like it let him enjoy care. himself you know what I mean what you're what one table what one party enjoys and what another party enjoys doesn't matter yeah. so don't get yourself too worked up guys that's a PSA <laughs> hope you all are doing well you know I really hope so I once played a ridiculously OP character in a game of piss off a DM as retribution for him trying to kill my PCs off every session. That seems a bit intense. That every, just seems every, like a dick. Every, every session is a bit much, you know. I like difficult games, but I'm bending the rules every session trying to kill as many people as possible because every adventure should have 30% chance of a TPK. Got annoying after a while. What? That is a bit. Mu- <laughs> that is a bit high. Yeah, you know, you can't. You, there's, it's hard to run a campaign if it's... if you get a party wipe every session oh, no. and you have to come up, kind of like reset. You know. Yeah, it's an organized play Discord server, so unlike a normal game where a character death means you just roll up a new character, every character death means you either pay to revive or get bounced out of the level range you were in, meaning you can't play with the same people. He also pulled out several death traps that would make revival impossible to intentionally bounce people down because of difficulty wank. Uh, me, don't be at that. Like, seriously. We're doing something like that very similarly at the minute with the Spelljammer game where we've got, like, three DMs and there's about 15 players or so. Yeah, but that's because everybody has, like, from time zone. Yeah, sure. but, like, the way we're doing it is, like, you know, if you die, you just go down a level and you make a new character. And yep. that's it. You know, just just deal with it you know you get bounced down and the lowest you can get bounced down to is like level Mm 5 and everyone's between like level 5 and I think one person's level 10 you know so so I pulled out the old 3rd edition Pathfinder optimization handbook and made the most obnoxiously hard to kill bullshit character possible complete with the ability to nearly auto pass any save and kill just about anything with ability damage or drain and more than a few tricks to screw over enemy types he likes to use TLDR, 
I munchkin the hell out of a character. The anger DM who thinks that difficulty is the only reason Dark Souls is a good game. That's not a sin. That's completely not no, a sin. No, it's not a the, sin. The You're DM, completely within your rights. The, the DM got that upon himself. <laughs> yeah. If he decides... Fuck with the DM. Like, if he know, wants to fuck with you, he's too much fuck with the DM. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. People are going to be like, oh, you know, you like to play too easy. No, No, it's not there's that. a difference between I mean, a DM making it hard just for the sake of being hard yeah. and not progressing the gameplay. That's, it does feel like the campaign would just be stagnant yeah how the fuck can you progress the storyline if Everyone, there's just every every why time even, you're doing a mission they, 30% they, chance of a TPK yeah it feels like why are these people even together what are these, what are they trying to achieve where are they going uh-huh. like you know uh, most campaigns like you know I would expect at least maybe one person to be able to survive the entire way to the end yeah. so at least it creates some level of cohesion yeah. or maybe like you know there's been two different groups completely that have completely formed over the course of it all like it's one of those ones I just yeah. feel like the guy's been a bit of a dick yeah that is, that is a bit of a dick to be honest with you Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. I resent being my entire friend group's forever GM, and just want to play a fucking game. I currently only run one campaign at the moment of a homebrew setting, and just want to kill it, because we essentially took summer off because brother bought a house, and got married, and life generally got in the way. I actually hate one of my former players. He's still in our Discord, but I've removed all of his permissions so he can only see the general chat and can't even see if there are other game channels. How is he not caught on to this? <laughs> I think I would have caught on. Discord, on. It's only general. It's like, <laughs> I've been fucking blocked from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actively held my players' hands through the second half of Out Stars Without Numbers campaign because they ignored all my hooks and never wanted to do anything or come up with goals of their own. I feel bad for this fellow. Th- 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 I again. always feel bad for forever DMs who want to play. Yeah, same. It's for so you. hard. To, it's so hard to get a good DM. It is. That's and normally, whenever you find one, you stick with them, and oh, then yeah. you never think about. Oh, let's let the DM play. But it's like, who the fuck will DM? Well, we've actually got something good at the minute because, like, in the Spelljammer game, there's like three mm-hmm. or four DMs. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the tail does get a break. He just does the dedicated um, Sunday Euro game. Yeah. You know, so at least he gets a bit of a break, which is nice, you yeah. know. I do think DMs, if they want to change it up, they shouldn't be forced into it. No. You know what I mean? Like, someone does have to... I, I just feel bad for forever no, no, DMs. You do have to I, have, like, a backup. Yeah. In some extent. Because, like, if the DM... Like, it's okay if a player doesn't show up, but if the DM doesn't show up... Nobody or the DM, gets a game. No one gets a game, so it's better to have, like, someone I'm you go... shit. Yeah, same. I'm not the best. I, I can vi- I can barely do... Okay, I can do it RL. No, like, but, actually shit. But see goal 20. Goal 20, I am never going to be able to fully understand. <laughs> I am shit with goal 20. I, I, I've done it quite a few times where I just set up the webcam and I just roll my dice and then like a wee dice tray. It's like, like, that's it. You know what I mean? I can be... Do- and I, and like, I like the feel on a dice, okay, guys? Yeah. I enjoy my dice. I don't feel like clicking buttons does the same effect to me. I know. As no, the lone, doesn't as the lone dice, doesn't. you know? But, like, everyone feels bad for Forever DM. You haven't sinned at all. And be honest with you, you should have just sat this fella down and just said, like, mate, you're not fitting the group's dynamic, and if you don't know my RL, it's not the end of the world. I know. Our current DM is awful, but none of us have the heart to tell him. He's a sad, autistic neat with no life prospects, and his confidence in his DMing is literally the only thing that he takes pride in. And we're worried that if we tell him, it'll push him over the edge into existential despair. Oh, oh my no. god, I have no idea how to help you, Mom. Oh, oh that's no. horrible. 
I go like, oh my god. How do you do that? I don't know. Oh, just, no, just don't tell him. Just keep going. Keep that sin to yourself. <laughs> like, just keep. Yeah, honestly, like I, I, I don't know if I've got the heart. I don't. Have Some, the heart. I, a lot of the time, I just say, it's like, look, boys, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Go talk to them. It's the only way. But like, see, when it comes to like people like this, I just feel like, oh no, I don't no, know. No, I couldn't. I couldn't break somebody's heart like that. Yeah. That's why I, I'm still going out with you. That's why I'm married to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, next post. (laughs) I GM drunk most of the time because it helps me relax when I'm anxious and removes my inhibitions that prevent me from doing character voices and getting into the roleplay. I do that quite a bit. Yeah. Be honest with you, but I I normally play on a Sunday and Megan's off. Um, what do you what Monday Tuesdays? You know what I mean. So normally we drink anyway on a Sunday Sunday. night. But like you know, I'm a player, so I suppose it's not as bad. I'm autistic enough about pre-planning and preparing for things like combat encounters and have automated most things in Roll20 so that combat is easy to run. I often fudge rolls if they would interfere with the fun and pace of an encounter. Most people do that anyway. Yeah, DMs do that. that's fine. Don't worry. If someone has been rolling poorly all fight, I'll let them one-shot a mook just to give them a boost. I never fudge rolls made against the players, though. Fudging lets me retroactively rebalance encounters if I fuck up. It's not meant to punish the players. I much prefer virtual dice to physical ones. Oh, oh no, that's no, a sin. That's a sin, that's, that's a sin right there now. Oh, no. Why would anyone ever think that? No. How is there any a comparison? There's no comparison. But that's what you were saying. It's like, yeah, no, I'm on board. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, no, I get that. But that there, no, that's a fucking sin. You are the only person in this thread that is not forgiven. <laughs> you can never be forgiven for that. That's actually, no, I mean, don't. <laughs> so I much prefer virtual dice to physical ones, as for some reason I regard the former as being less biased and prone to failure. What do you mean? What do you Pro- mean? I mean, dice are so the auto, no, he thinks the automatic ones are less biased and prone to failure. Well, I always throw my dice too hard and it ends off a fucking table. It's uh, always away. So, like, oh, got to legal that cop dice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too coomer, and it really was never intentional. But I fucked at least one person in every game group I've been a part of. Hi, hi. <laughs> Where are you finding these femoids? Sorry. There's not enough of them. No, not enough. <laughs> Most of them were already in relationships. Oh my god. And one couple might be raising my daughter. Oh my jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. No, that's a, that is a sin. Granted, the chances are very low and I don't think she looks like me, but still. Oh, and I forget my character sheet's dice or pencils. <laughs> 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 Megan, that's you. That's you. Anyone got a pencil, mate? Yo, yo, I've been okay. over this before. <laughs> anyone got a pencil? Got a pencil. Like, everyone knows a person's like, yo, anyone, anyone got a pen or pencil? That's anyone me. Like, yeah, that's that is me. you. <laughs> You're lethal for it. You are, you are the fucking worst. But, like, no. I have no idea what to make of that first part of that. Fuck. Jesus Christ, that's... Uh, Too Kimmer. Yeah, that is. That's, that's next level Kimmer. Played in an ERP chat room for years. Running this epic degenerate story because I was lonely. Epic, epic de- degenerate. <laughs> Them words don't go together. I'm sorry, mate. Them words don't. They don't take. It's like the words chicken and factory. They're just not good <laughs> word combinations, mate. I'm sorry. Running this epic degenerate story because I was lonely. Give up out of disgust. <laughs> I like to be the forever GM because I don't enjoy the stories that most of my friends run. English is my country's second language, and I have tried very hard to get rid of my accent. That's not too bad. As long as you're under, I don't mind people with accents, just as long as they're speaking like clear. Clearly, you know? yeah. like most most of the people like like English is my first accent. And fuck me, I can hardly be talk. So I got. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, uh, uh, guys, sorry. Like you know, I don't really care if you've got a bit of an accent. <laughs> what I care more about is your audio quality. Yeah. See if you come See up. See you come up, and you're like. <laughs> Like this, hey guys! <laughs> oh, see, or like constantly disconnect. Like you sound like a luba. I don't care if you got an accent, but just sort your fucking microphone out. Like seriously, you can buy a really good microphone for like 20, 30 quid. And if you're playing online like games or whatever, it's worth an invest. Yeah, just do it, please. It'll it'll be it'll just make everyone else's enjoyment. Yeah, way more better, way better. So, you know. So so he's got an accent, and he's tried very hard to get rid of the accent. Yeah. 
I always cringe like fuck when people on the table try and speak the language and sound like a fucking immigrant's fresh <laughs> off the boat. <laughs> All right, a bit of self hatred going on, but you know, I want to know where this guy's from. I know. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of running the same three games for my group, but I don't have the time to go looking for another. I've bought so many OSR games, but I just want to run everything in Risa, Risas. Rice us because fuck learning another system. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've came across that mindset so many times. Like, there, there is tons but of But it other does games. take long enough to learn a new system. <laughs> and also, so, if you've got a decent, like, large group of players. And if they're not into it, then you just spent oh. so fucking long trying to work out a new system, then somebody's like, I don't like this. Uh, can we just go back to bed? Fuck off, position? Susan. <laughs> fuck Nobody you likes guys. you. <laughs> <laughs> me and my mate once winked each other <laughs> off. <laughs> like, you do you, mate? <laughs> yeah, like, whatever, I don't know. Whatever you like, do. Sometimes you just need yeah. sort of sort, sort of color eye, no homo, you know what I mean? <laughs> or a big homo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, look, I think we'll end the thread here, so we, will, we might come back. You guys know, if you give us enough of your own confessions or your own sins that you've committed... We'll make a uh, make a video of your guys' um, confessions. For confessions. I don't think there was that many genuine sins in this. No, thread. there wasn't. A lot of it. A lot of the time, Apart it's from just one guy liking virtual dice or yeah, real that, dice. That, that just baffles that, that me. That baffles me that anyone could ever think that. Um, most of the stuff that's came up was genuinely justified, or it's a cause and reaction of revenge, or you know, yeah. will someone want to get their own back for whatever reasons. Um, your boy that wanked his meat off, you know. Um, I don't really know if that's considered a sin these days. No. But like, you know, like as long as like, as long as everybody's happy and it was consensual, I don't care. Like that's pretty much what it boils down to. Um, so to give you guys a bit of an update on what's happening, so uh, where we're off last week, there's a bit of um, Meg and you family issues, issues yeah. going on at the moment. Um, so we're not going to be uploading as as regularly, but we're, we're, we're going to try be, and get. Um, videos out videos as we can out. you know what I mean yeah um, it's one of those ones you like to try and spend as much time with someone as you can when they don't have much left yeah you so, know so yeah. hope you guys understand and uh, look after those people you mm-hmm. know and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>